before you send your emails, you need to understand what it is that you're going to be talking about. It's not enough for me to say, like, I help women with money. I talk about personal finance. I want to help women feel totally empowered making, saving, budgeting, spending every dime that they have. I want them to feel like a badass every second of their day around money. Sorry if there are children around. That's what I want them to do. And so I take firm stances. I'm not a fan of, of certain individuals in the personal finance space who um, are less excited about women in this space. I'm not fans of that. And I have no problem saying that to my people. And so I plant my flag. I take my stance and everybody knows it kind of going in. So you might be looking at my original like, you know, welcome emails like, dang, girl, like that's a little bit harsh. But the truth is, if you're with me, if you're feeling like everything that I'm saying is like, oh, my gosh, are you reading my mind? You're exactly like the little person that I want to put in my back pocket and just carry around with me. Then you're going to love what I have to say. And you're if you're put off by it, then you'll unsubscribe. Because the internet world is a big place. It's huge. If you want people to understand who you are and what you have to say and how you're going to help them, you have to stand out. Now, that's not saying be a jerk about things, but it is saying you have to know where you stand on different topics. It, you have to know where you stand in your space. What sets you apart? It's not enough to just say, I help women, period. I help women, or I help blank, it could be whatever you want to fill in that blank with, I help blank who struggle with blank who want to blank. That's my formula. I actually, believe it or not, I have a visual aid of this. I actually wrote this down earlier this week. Can you guys see that? I help blank who struggle with blank who want to blank. That's my formula for figuring out exactly who it is that I'm talking to. Because it's more, when you're emailing your people, it's more intimate. It's a different kind of a relationship than just kind of having a post. Like I can have posts out there about cooking rotisserie chickens. Do I like to cook? Absolutely not. But I do think that it's an important thing to have out there for my people, but I'm still not a recipe blogger. If they're there for recipes and only wanna hear about recipes, they're not gonna subscribe to my list and that is totally fine. But I know what I stand for is making frugal easy, making it fun and doable and manageable and everything. But it's definitely not whitewashed, like, we'll just sit back and let our husbands handle the money. <laughs> that's not what I do. Um, and that's what I call my people in. That's what I stand for. That's what I say, like, going in from the beginning. Because I don't need people who are on my list just to forget that they subscribed. I want to make sure that they're there and they're going to engage. I want to make sure that the right people have found me and are going to join my conversations and they're going to take part in things that I do and want to be there and listen to what I have to say and do the advice that I have to give them and buy my products ultimately. And the way that I do that is by knowing what I stand for and stating it right off the bat. So I heard this quote and I was like, this is so accurate. Love me or hate me, there is no money in the middle. And that is kind of like, you don't have to be a jerk about it, guys. I'm not saying to be a jerk in your emails. But I am saying make sure that you understand what it is that you're standing for. Make sure that you understand where your polarizing passion statements are. Um, what it is that you have to say that will attract the perfect people to you and repel the rest if that makes any sense. Okay, hang on. I'm missing like chat stuff here. Sorry. Oh, thank you. I help blank who struggle with blank who want to blank. Thank you guys. I totally missed that. I apologize. And then it's too, super tiny. I'm like, I should have had a slide that said that. I probably did, but I'm a rocket scientist and deleted this presentation this morning and remade it. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. 